We do. And I wanted to ask you, um, what's going on with Outriders? I think you mentioned that it's getting a little bit better for you. Yeah, so I, I've kind of gotten over the hump of the early game where, uh, you know, you're, you're really just kind of essentially surviving. Um, you know, the, the game, it's, it's starting to become more of an RPG and less of a looter shooter, which is really appealing to me because mm. uh, I, I think there's there's a lot of really cool combinations you could do with these uh, with with your powers and your guns and um, you know once you like each each level of gun has the ability to have a little bit more juice to it, right? So you have your basic guns, you have basically you have common, uncommon, rare, um, ultra rare, and then legendary. I think is the uh, the pattern they use right and they're all color coded it's just like destiny and just like the division um and these guns drop with a variety of different types of uh status effects um you know somewhat randomized but when you go from when you have an uncommon gun or a green colored gun uh there are no status effects when you get a rare one there's one status effect when you get a a ultra rare one there's two status effects and I think there's only two status effects on the legendary as well, but the second one is of a higher uh, power, right? Mm -hmm. So one of the uh, the cool things you can start to do is like you start min maxing the character and the abilities uh, to kind of stack things up. So one example is I found a gun that uh, sets enemies on fire when you shoot them and it also causes them to bleed. So you're stacking two status effects on them at the same time. Well, another thing that you can do with that is um, like there's a, my character has a turret that he uses and the turret freezes people. So now that's a third status effect. And um, I can use poison bullets for a limited amount of time as well. So that's, that's a cool, that's a fourth status effect. So now I'm shooting these guys and I'm stacking them with four status effects at the same time. Well, the the poison bullets only last for one clip, but I found armor that extends that to two clips, right? So now I'm like, okay, well, which gun is going to get the most use out of this? Do I want to put that on a sniper rifle that only has one shot? No, it, I'm only getting two shots with that with that special, and it's useless. How about a gun that has like 140 in a clip? Now that's like you know 300 or you know 280 shots. And if you're, you know, doing a couple shots at a time, boop, 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 that that could go a long time. So, oh, yeah, it, it really is game changing when you start to see the different relationships that you can have with the guns and how they combine with your existing powers. And then you have uh, your armor, which also has the ability to enhance, uh, you know, your skills, your your abilities, your magic, so to speak. And uh, the game is just uh it was really starting to click with me the other day, man. Um, I was having a good time with it. I was having a lot of fun. The um, There's a couple things that also opened up. There's like a, a bounty system, right? I found this town and this guy is, uh, he's like, oh yeah, I need you to kill all these people for me. And it's like, they don't tell you like who to kill, but like when you go into a new area, you'll find like a wanted poster maybe. And you can, you can grab that wanted poster and you're accepting the bounty. And then you, once you complete the bounty, you kill this dude. Um, you go and you can collect some, some cool gear from that or, or money or whatever, you know, whatever they're offering for that particular bounty. And then, um, kind of similarly, uh, there's the, a battle that you can do against wildlife, right? And it's a boss creature animal, you know, and those are, uh, quite exciting, man. Um, just you're fighting these like massive birds that are like throwing down like fucking rocks the size of you know one of their wings and Jeez. It, it's nuts it gets it gets absolutely crazy and um you know the combat is just it's a lot of fun um i think i think there's a misnomer that it's a cover based shooter but like you really can't stay in cover too long they flush you out so you're you're moving you're constantly moving retreating pressing forward and then you know, I, I've really only played as one character class, but each character class uh, apparently plays very differently, too. So while I'm playing the sniper who kind of stays back and relies on technology, um, you know, you might play as the tank character who, you know, just goes in and busts shit up. And uh, 
if I, I haven't done any multiplayer yet, but that's something that I'm kind of hoping that you know maybe some other people uh, will will jump in on because I think it could be a lot of fun.